Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Adam Stargang's Astrology, Tarot and Guidance. Um, so if you all have not noticed, I changed my name and I added Tarot and Guidance as well because I am a tarot reader as well. And we're going to do some tarot today. I am happy to bring on Sheila from uh, Celtic Sheila Tarot, Celtic. Sheila. Celtic Tarot, Celtic. Sheila. Yes. And Sheila, thanks for coming on my show today. You're welcome. Yeah, so we have an exciting uh, time coming up. As we all know, the elections are coming extremely close right now. Uh, so I have some interesting astrological information to share. And then we're going to do some tarot as well, um, which is going to be really, really interesting. And this is all going to be based upon the election and the transits on uh, each uh, presidential candidate. So everyone out there, the transits are the planets that are transiting in relation to the birth chart at the time that I'm going to pick, which is going to be the time of the election. In, so, in layman's terms, like it's a drive-by, right? Yes. In terms, it's like this planet's driving by and it's on its way out to doing something, but it's a transit. It's transient. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. Like some yep. the hobos who uh jump the trains. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. It's it's the it's gonna be the drive by the drive by image of, of what's going on. Yeah. Um so so I will get started here. And for everyone who has not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And for everyone who has not yet subscribe subscribed to um Sheila's channel, um please subscribe as well and the email will be in the description box. Yeah, come join me. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh so so let's get um let's get started here. Should we get started with some tarot? What do you think? Yeah, let's do tarot. Okay. Let's do it. All right. So we're What's gonna our first question? Cards. <clears throat> okay. So our first question is going to be um What is going to be the the underlying tone that um that unifies the Democrats? You know what what type of space are we going to need to be holding right now in order to secure that office? Because we know there's been a lot of uh you know there's been like burnings of uh, of, of ballots in Democratic counties. There's been her, there's been harassment made by MAGA onto on on onto uh on on onto uh poll workers things like this. So we know that their tone is anger and violence. Are we just gonna react with that rage and anger, or what are we gonna do to hold space? Perseverance. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna have the perseverance. We're gonna, we're gonna keep the, going. We're gonna have the perseverance. We're just going to. You ever, ever watched that one thing that uh, you're just going to walk over the drunk and just move on with your day? You know okay. what I mean? You're just, okay. just going to walk, o you're just going to step over them and you're just going to keep on moving. Okay. Okay. So we're going to hold vision. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. I got the, uh, I picked the, the eight of pentacles and I always see the eight as transformation. So, so the eight is also cor corresponded to Scorpio and we are right now in Scorpio season. So Scorpio has a lot to do with death and rebirth. Um, it's represented by two animals. And the first animal is the, the scorpion who dives down in the muck, who has to dive down to the nerdy or the dirty nitty gritty and then kind of go through it, as you mentioned, right? And then rise up as the phoenix, rise up transformed from all the nastiness yes so that diligence passion hard work high standards mastery apprenticeship apprenticeship skill development and then seeing the positive potential yeah and a scorpion can sting whoever they want on the way but anyways <laughs> yeah, they got true. one they might as well use it <laughs> we'll see in that in that i believe to some level is uh is is a is a something that the Democrats are needing to learn how to do a little more. Yes, we're not we're not this passive, you know, always take the high road kind of thing. I mean, just like <clears throat> Joe Biden, he Joe Biden's a scorpion. Yeah, mm -hmm. 
Yes. So Joe Biden and his scorpion, you know, finally he's not running for president. He's like alluded to uh Trump supporters as garbage, just like he alluded to the other um you know, the island of garbage. You know what I mean? He just, like, he scorpioned it that he's like, I'm going to sting you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Like, oh, and, darn. <laughs> right? And and what was so interesting, too, is that he, like, took it back and he apologized and all this stuff. And I was like, no, I think he probably meant it. And I think, like, it was okay. The apology was probably political. The other one was not. <laughs> exactly. The apology was, yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But what I got was the Book of Shadows. You are empowered by shining a light on the darkness. You oh, are I- each and every one of us are empowered to shine a light on the darkness we do not have to accept the darkness we don't have to ignore the darkness we don't have to you know nobody's signing an nda uh we're Mm -hmm. you know we're we're on it Mm -hmm. we don't have to be quiet anymore you just open it up and you, you everybody has that responsibility if you choose to but we all have the power to to um shine a light onto the darkness Mm -hmm. Mm mm-hmm So the next the next card I picked was the Ace of Wands. And to me, I always see this as uh, very auspicious. Um, new project, inspiration, urge to create, willpower, desire, power, potential, beginnings, new opportunities, and growth. I mean, this this really is is the beginning of the age of Aquarius as far as I'm concerned. The planet Pluto finally now moving into Aquarius. Those power structures um, becoming more democratic. Uh, so that is, that's, I always see this card. This card is like, I consider the Ace of Wands one of the most positive cards in the deck as far as room for expanse and growth. Yeah, and I always see it as bam, 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 bam. <laughs> the one, the wand. But she- yeah, the cartoon, the cartoon, the Flintstones, and they had, uh, they had that little boy. They named him Bam Bam because he mm-hmm. had his bam, 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 like whack a mole. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm, don't mm-hmm. listen to Sheila. I don't know everything, but anyways, <laughs> the card that I got was Power of Three. Gather mm-hmm. your closest mm-hmm. allies to raise to the coming challenges. Oh, I like that. We can do it together. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, the mm-hmm. power of three the power of the universe the power of of um spirit the power of each other uh the power of the world the world wants us to move forward they do not want trump either so mm-hmm. we we can not only gather ours we can we can use the whole earth's energy they're mm-hmm. they're f- definitely fighting and voting for us mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not the Trumpers that are all over the country. I'm not talking about them. They they are irrelevant. But mm-hmm. we have more of the majority energy to bring forth change. Mm-hmm. So the last card I picked is this is this is a little interesting. This kind of more I feel like kind of more represents our obstacles. It's the full reversed, and I see the full. You know, the full is the the zero card, which is sort of like infinite possibilities infinite expansion in all directions so reversed holding back indecision hesitation um recklessness fearlessness bad choices and risk taking now there's some of these where i'm like and that really doesn't sound like the democrats but things things like holding back you know um maybe we can push forward in certain things in indecision you know I see Kamala up there and she's a decisive individual, right? Whereas Biden, he, he Biden's speech, not so much now, but was a little more like trying to be middle of the road. She's like Trump this and that. She's very like absolute. And that's what we're needing right now. Um, hesitation. So these could have been like potential problems. I'm sort of kind of reading into the 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 vibe that the Democrats have held in the past. And, you know, certain things they need that that as a group we need to overcome in order to surmount that obstacle. Um, and then the last one will be risk taking. I feel like I I feel like the Republicans are just like whatever. They'll lie and they'll cheat and they'll steal and they'll do whatever. And the Democrats, you know, we're so about like we, we just have to follow the blah, blah, blah. That like a little bit of 
risk taking with that probably would help you know mm-hmm. yeah Ho- holding our own ground absolutely mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah so the, the the fool in reverse let's do it with some consciousness actually there you go mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. yeah Mm-hmm. So instead of just walking off the 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 cliff, let's uh figure out a different strategic way down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, totally right. But you know that's right. how the the Democrats always have chosen the you know, the higher ground with intelligence. They have always done that. They they always. will use bigger words. And that's mm-hmm. the reason why the Trumpers were the Trumpers were having a hard time understanding. And I and I said this a long time ago. If our party would just tone down the big words they will start understanding what you know connecting with their people more not mm-hmm. that we're idiots it's just that nobody likes this great big old huge word that they use you know what i mean we mm-hmm. always mm-hmm. put it up mm-hmm. um this mm-hmm. one right here i got opening doors opening doors it says that uh, you will need to use your charm to get access to what you want and that goes with your uh fool in reverse we will need don't walk off with you know not knowing let's use some strategic um plays we're going to charm the world now we we have to walk through with purpose and i think that's what that's what that means we're going to be open i like that the opening doors Mm -hmm. Mm yeah yeah i like that um all right so that i mean those yeah the i you know those the that three card spread i feel like i feel like it definitely revealed a fair amount of uh, of of uh of strengths and deficiencies as well you know things that we're needing to work on as a as a um as a group the Democratic party is the oldest party in this country oh interesting um- so the respect of the democratic party is the absolute oldest party so it has been through some stuff yes they were prejudiced yes they were you know for slavery and then they become against slavery they this the the party switch the the, the republicans have never been consistent you see uh-huh. that there's a place for the consistency and the respect for the oldest party in this country uh-huh. now we do everything right in the back no but they were willing to change they were willing to look forward they were willing to go you know what let's eliminate this let's go forward let's do that so this is this is the difference between and the republican party um has not been consistent whatsoever Mm -hmm. they not even the names there was like i forget the names right now i'm on camera but anyways it's the respect that has been the oldest um party and the most willing to change and go forward. So yeah, they're mm-hmm. going to get out of their timid space mm-hmm. and walk through and and be some aggravation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, they need mm-hmm. to get out there and do that, and they are mm-hmm. because they were mm-hmm. willing to do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, you're absolutely right. They they're this this is the party that really corresponds to what the U.S. means. Well, they're willing to do that. Mm-hmm. See, mm-hmm. No, you know, the Democratic Party, There's that's the reason why I've always been that way is because if anything else, they were always willing to look at something different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They did, Whether it took them 10 years to do it, the willingness was always what drew, drew me in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Um. Okay, so moving on with that, I'm going to talk a little bit about the transits for each individual. And if you want to pick a couple cards too yeah. uh, to add to it, that would be fun. So the first transit chart I want to talk about is going to be Trump's. So Donald Trump is heavily influenced by the planet Jupiter in his astrology chart. Jupiter represents um, our beliefs and our moral compass and our faith. So during this uh, election time, November 5th, he's going to have Jupiter in some really strong spots showing that he's going to feel extremely lucky and that he's going to completely overestimate his capabilities. So we're not going to see anything new or surprising from him, but the fact that he's going to be convinced that either that either he won or and the or the election was stolen if he didn't win. Um so we really don't see a lot of variation in his behavior. Um, he's There's a good chance with Jupiter 
uh, in such a strong spot that he's probably going to say he won even way before the election was was called like last time. Uh, so he's probably going to do that. Um, and then if there's and then if there's any disputes, there's probably going to be a million frivolous lawsuits. We are we already know there's a lawsuit in Pennsylvania already. Um, that's going to be thrown out. So it's so it's not so so there's just not really going to be anything different as far as some of these intense Jupiter aspects that are just going to overpower his chart because he's such a Jupiterian. Yeah. Yeah. So he, Ruby go huge planet that what does it offer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So his his chart was easy to read. I looked at it and I'm like, okay, yeah, mm -hmm, okay. Well, I, I just drew as you were talking. I drew three mm -hmm. cards, and I I have mm -hmm. to laugh. He thinks he's a unicorn. Okay. <laughs> this man thinks he's special. Uh, that he can do anything. That he wills the 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 world. You know, oh, yeah. his will. Uh, he thinks himself a unicorn. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. He's gonna have to do a little quiet retreat after this is all done and over with. <laughs> he needs to walk away mm -hmm. he's gonna need to do that and but the thing is is we're gonna have to deal with his shape shifting at before at before he walks away oh, uh -huh. and he's gonna have that shape shifting thing going on either they either the you know the the states that he won he won the states he lost they cheated you know that shape shifting and he's gonna have to jump back and forth between being uh seen as a good guy and knowing he's not a good guy you know what i mean he's he's a, he's a, just a shapeshifter he's just he's literally the epitome of the worst guy i just i don't know <laughs> i can't i can't describe how mm -hmm. bad this guy is <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or the cards mm -hmm. yeah he is he is um He's a real menace, you know, he's a real, he's, he's kind of like the devil incarnate, so to speak. <laughs> I mean, he's, I, think, he, I think you're insulting the devil when you call him. I, the devil. I, know, I know he is just, it's it, it, it just, he, he just breeds, breeds chaos and violence wherever he goes. It's just, it's unbelievable. Well, it's, we now know when you give attention and uh, high honors to a narcissist, what will happen? It's scary. It's really scary. So yeah. from now on, do not give high honors or um, accolades to a narcissist anymore. No, no, it's 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 terrifying. It really is. Yeah. Um. However, on the other hand, Kamala's transit chart was much different. Um, she has her her transit chart at this time is much more dynamic. Um showing some pretty interesting configurations. There's one strong configuration here that shows initiation, um, which is actually a pretty rare configuration that I see. And I looked at it and I was like, what? I actually had to look it up. Cause I'm like, what is this? Like, this is complex. This looks really intense. So the, the aspects, some of the other aspects are characterized by a lot of focus and concentration, confrontation, intensity. But coming out of that is this amazing initiation. Um, so I thought that was really cool. I've never seen, it's really rare that I see a transit chart that holds so much at once. Um, so it's not it's not a cakewalk transit chart for Kamala. And in fact, hers is much more intense than Donald Trump's, much more transformative than Trump's as well um but also at the same time the the that that amazing ability for a for a, a rare type of initiation that i see which is really promising and very exciting when i looked at that configuration i'm like what is this reading about it and i'm like oh okay this is cool this is very cool mm -hmm. well that's just that's just a description of a woman for you honey yeah yeah there you go <laughs> you wonder when mingo oh, what just happened yeah, I, I was like what is i was like i've never seen this <laughs> it's just an explanation of a woman and a woman's <laughs> power <laughs> no it's kind of true actually it's yeah it's it's very cool it's 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 exciting um it's transformative but the amazing amount of of, of intensity and confrontation though in the transit chart was was just 
that was also very highly aspected too. So I'm like, wow, this is not initiation without like an amazing amount of like other stuff that she's having to kind of like undergo as well. Right. Well, I got light the way. Ooh, Your leadership yeah. skills are being called upon to guide others. This is mm -hmm. her card. Lighting the way, her leadership skills. Now she she probably has she has been trained mm -hmm. very well for leadership skills. Mm -hmm. She has probably all along her whole life and her whole path um, has had all of these set and you know like how can I put this like you, you you know when you go into a job you always look at a leader and say I would have done that differently. I would have done that differently. She already had a plan before we even opened up that she was going to be, pre you know, a presidential a nominee. She already had a plan of how she was going to lead because of all of her, her experiences. The community. Um, you need the community and your friends and, uh, and your tribe now. So though this is right here, she is gathering her tribe. She is gathering her community. She is doing it. She's not doing it Biden's way. She's not doing Trump's way. She's doing it her way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's what you're seeing the most is because you know how hard it is for a woman to, to find a place in this country, let alone lead the country, right? It's true. It's true. It's so true. Well, we're on, we're honoring her goodness. Mm -hmm. Oh, the goddess! Wait, horned goddess! Yeah. Yes. yeah, 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 yeah. This is her. She's the goddess, but don't mess with her. No, yeah, no, don't mess with her. No, it's true. Right? She she will she will snap you right back into honor, <laughs> any way she can. She she will. I mean, I may be giving her too much, but she has already shown how much she can get out there and just wail away. At, at everything that she wants for this country and makes yeah. so yeah it's time for her fertility mm -hmm, nurturing mm -hmm. yourself and others mm -hmm. so there you go that's mm -hmm. Kamala. i mean that's the whole different uh the difference cards between trump's and kamala harris's just out of random picking mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. there you have it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah no that that is that really sums her up. I like that horn goddess. It's like she's a goddess, she's feminine, but the horns is like don't she's got, yep. she's got her her wall of defense. <laughs> she or, has or intelligence. Yeah, yeah. She has a really dynamic astrology chart too, showing that she's really multifaceted in a lot of different components. And that really shows in her astrology chart, which which I think is um, gonna be really wonderful. Um for, for a leader to have such a yeah, such a no comprehensive chart. Mm -hmm. She's no damsel in distress, that's for sure. She is not. No, no, no. Well, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, she... she's tough. Yeah, no, <laughs> she's really tough. Yeah. Um so so um there is a bit of karmic cleanup that's actually happening right now, astrologically yeah. speaking, that's kind of coming to a head. So this this aspect really has to do with the planet Pluto, which represents the power structure sitting in a complete oppositional aspect to Mars. So when it's in an opposition like that, it's all about confrontation, all about intensity. So now that aspect is going to be culminating, going to be reaching its peak when they're both at 29 degrees. So Pluto will be at 29 degrees as at 29 degrees it's going to culminate with the opposing mars at 29 degrees so the 29th degree is called the anoretic degree that is that is the degree of culmination the highest degree of action the highest degree of intensity um the last degree is kind of where everything kind of boils over and spills over in order to make way for that planet going into that new sign. So that being said, Mars, we're gonna experience the the intensity, the 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 highest oppositional intensity of Pluto and Mars, which is uh, Pluto's power. Mars is the um, the war, the battling, the strife, the anger, the the destruction. Um, so so that is just part of something that is culminating right now. That as a collective, we're we're just gonna really have to deal with that. Absolutely. 
it's it's fascinating that this with the uh with the karmic what did you call it the karmic energy that's coming around yeah it's like a yeah it's like a karmic it's like a karmic hill we're gonna have to kind of like surmount ironically uh we get the karmic energy also gets the same card as trump oh interesting okay very interesting so yeah. that unicorn that way of forward um way to clear um uh, making good progress so the, the the karmic energy is making good progress uh -huh. however it goes along with like crystal power so the earth the uh -huh. earth energy is also helping us out you know invest in the energy in your crystals or you're holding your vibration or holding your own or whatever deviation whatever it is that you use from a day-to-day -day basis um definitely hold on to or create some energy things like that i just literally love my home i have i love the energy of my home and this is where i feel the most powerful and then of course the um, earth is in transit this is the whole, uh, that's the card of the whole, the whole thing. We uh -huh. have come out of the karmic, the karmic debt that we had from slavery, from prejudice, uh -huh. from all of that stuff. We, we, I knew a long time ago, at some point in time, when this energy gets purged, it's not going to go quietly. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. And this is what we're experiencing. It did not go quietly. However, we are on the top of the hill and we need to start coming up and over and um, doing that. We Between the two worlds, between the two human species, we have, we have, a, we have a whole bunch of humans in this country that cannot transit, you know, change out of the... The, the old... The stuff, yeah. The old, the old. And everybody else is like, you know, we can let that go and we can go find something better. <laughs> this country wants us to go back to 1950. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. This part of the country. And this part of the country says we need to let that, it's over. <laughs> yeah, yes. move on, move on. Yes. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Do better. It's, it's so interesting you picked that last card because there's also a rare configuration right now that's going on called a kite aspect. And a kite is all about man metamorphosis and transformation. Yes. Um, exactly what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. So that that's a rare aspect. That was actually, it took me a little while to see that aspect. I, I studied it more. I kind of blurred my eyes. I looked at a, I kind of, looked at it very holistically i'm like whoa a kite's a kite appeared like right in front of my face <laughs> yeah. yeah i was like whoa because <laughs> it's a very rare aspect but it, it it um it 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 really um it it composes of a lot of different planets so many different planets having to fall together and in, in like in just a certain way to make that kite and it was cool i was looking i like looked to the left i'm like wow there's all these like sextile aspects there's all these collective connections that can be made right now intuitive connections and then i started looking a little over more and more i'm like wow those are connecting they keep connecting i'm like wow a kite is being it's a kite <laughs> wow. uh-huh uh-huh well, so so that's cool and you know and there's also a grand trine right now in the the sky too so there's a grand trine in a, the water element so a grand trine indicates emotional release indicates heightened intuition and that's in the water element which is all about the the water is all about the emotions the intuition True. um so there's the ability to tap into uh extra creative potential right now um heightened intuition emotional release uh, you know, th th things like that. So, so right now is, is a, is a wonderful opportunity for, for just maybe the release of a lot of old pent up stuff in order to make way for the, for the new. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. So that, that pretty much wraps up the, uh, the, um, the astrological tone for the, the transits for, uh, for November 5th um is there anything else you want to add or no i think we pretty much clearly spoke trump uh -huh. trump is not going to win and kamala harris as well kamala harris will yeah yeah See, that's a clear separation of yeah. what's going to happen for uh for november 5th now yeah. 
if you want to read just one thing about the shenanigans that are going to happen afterwards. Oh, sure. <laughs> well, we know that. Yeah, sure. They're going, there's going to be a dust up. There's no <clears throat> doubt about it. We yeah. all know that there's something coming. Yeah. Let's so, read and see. Let's see what your cards have to say about it. Okay. We've kind of we've kind of been reading on it for quite a while, so I'm really curious of what your cards are going to say. Let me get out my right away. How much dust gets kicked up? <laughs> yeah. What's? Mm. I would keep on saying this. I mean, which which state would you pick to take over the country? Which state? Think about it. Which state would you pick to take over the United States? I mean, if you have to take over the United States, you gotta Hawaii. start somewhere. Where would you start? Hawaii. <laughs> Why Hawaii? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I I I actually haven't really thought about that one state. I mean, I was almost like California, but I mean, I don't know. California has a big base there. Yeah, I mean, I'm in California now. We're we're we are Democrat. It is Democrat. That's what I'm saying. We, uh, I mean, uh, like, which like, state would you pick if you were trying to take over the country? Uh-huh. Uh huh. Every every state has its own government. Maybe California. Honestly, I I mean I don't know. Why California? I don't know. Yeah. Colorado. <laughs> Why Colorado? I know, right? Yeah. No, that's I mean, a good we question. Literally, I literally live. In a, right here in the middle of Colorado <clears throat> Springs, we have five military bases around us. Wow. Five. Wow. We have mm -hmm. NORAD, we have Shriver, mm -hmm. we have um, the other Air Force, <laughs> I can't think of the Air, Air Force Academy, mm -hmm. and Peterson, mm -hmm. and we have uh, Fort Carson. There should be five. Why isn't there five? Wow, anyway, that's there's, incredible. There's five. So I'm literally surrounded by um, all mil from Air Force to um, Army military bases. Uh huh. Wow. Wow. So they're not going to pick Colorado unless they want to get their butts kicked. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> unless they want to be taken down within 30 seconds. We have. You're safe. We have the yeah. Air Force, we have the aircraft, we have the Army, we have the tanks, You're we safe. have NORAD, we have the radar. You're not going to get anywhere close to Colorado. No. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. You're good. <laughs> We're good right now. We're good. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's read the dust up. California is just as protected. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. You have military bases. You have... um. All of the the military men they go on they go on TDY and they also do something else. It's called something else. Anyways, they train in California. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So they already know the terrain. They already know. Uh -huh. Do you know how long it would take for military to get to California? About an hour. Well, I mean, I have a military. There's a military base about forty five minutes from my house. Yeah, but the rest of the military to get to California about an hour. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. from from all over because the coastal the coast the coasts are always protected the co mm -hmm. yeah yeah that makes sense mm -hmm. okay oh yeah they're planning they're planning on it oh biden i swear and i swear with everything i hold biden is gonna do something like i'm 80 something years old I apparently have immunity according to the um, Supreme Court. And I swear Biden is going to do something quick. Oh, if interesting. It, if it gets out of hand, he's going uh -huh. to get it out. Wow. Wow. He's hyper focused. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What do you get? I get, uh, this is interesting. I get the nine of wands reversed, which inner resources struggle, overwhelmed, on edge, defensive, paranoia, exhaustion, fatigue. Lack of motivation. <laughs> I don't see that at all. Which mm -hmm. one did you get? The what? Of, the what of ones? Let me see your card. It's the nine. Interesting. Oh, here we go. Okay. 
there's a nine theme. I got the nine of swords reversed. Inner turmoil, deep fears, secrets, releasing worry, hope, reaching out. Oh, so I see. So you are literally going, you are picking up the dust up, the people that are going to be doing the harm. Yeah. That's what you're picking up on. Yeah. This is like, this is going to be like the collective mindset because it's the yeah. night, you know, this is going to be like what's going on. Like but they're the, not going to do much in the, the, the inner turmoil. Yeah. But the other card was they're not going to be doing much in nothing. Struggle, overwhelm, on edge. I mean, the way I'm kind of, I, I, I kind of, I'm almost kind of looking at it in the sense that like his shenanigans isn't going to nearly fly as much. Right. That's what we've all been getting. Yeah. Like, yeah, there's going to be a dust up. Then but, it'll all go away and we'll yeah. all get on with our lives yeah yeah i i mean last time there was the there was the, the storming of the capital there was this whole thing i just i'm not i'm just no, not no. reading that yeah he doesn't have the capability or the situational awareness to do that this time no, no and they would be on him like that like that. Well, every uh yeah every i mean he trump can get arrested this time no i was gonna say i hope he does it because they'll finally lock his ass up yes do you know <laughs> what i mean he he will yeah. be he's a civilian Oh, 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 yeah, 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 he, 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 yeah, it's true. He will get, because he was the president. It's true. Yep. He and will then, get arrested. Yeah. Yeah, Biden is the president this time. And apparently yeah. he has immunity. It would take years for them to figure out if he got, he's he's going to be put in jail for whatever he decides to do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He is hyper-focused. And this is the reason why. I mean, the, I I literally have the king, the, the king of cups, which is Biden, always Biden, and due diligence doing the groundwork he knows what's going to happen and he will take swift action if he has to oh yeah yep yep and ace yep. of cups will win at the yep. end of the day, the ace of cups the emotional yep. the high emotional the yeah i got a i said how's this going to sum up sun yeah yep illumination positivity happiness it's going to it's all going to come out we're going to come out on top of this. Hold faith. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Hold faith. Hold strong. Basically, like, we're, we're, we're on that trajectory right now. Um, yeah. And all those, you know, all those dumb individuals who are at the ballot boxes and burn things and all, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll all have theirs, you know. Well, they're not making, they, they're making problems. Mm -hmm. And they yep. make copycat they're... people. They're making problems. But what they're not doing is damaging enough votes to make a difference. Yeah, All yeah, they're they did not. is they're take not. the trajectory, go put a stamp on your stuff, and go do it through the regular mail. Uh -huh, That's uh -huh. what we do here in Colorado because we have the, the Bulbert crazies. Uh -huh, uh -huh. We put a stamp on it. I can afford a stamp. Yep, yep. On my ballot, and I literally uh -huh. drop it off at the mailbox at the post office. Uh huh. That's what I did. Yep. Do I, not use any of those free ballot boxes because this is the reason why we they know exactly what's in there. Uh huh. Yep. The Democratic counties, they're the ones that are getting blown up. Uh -huh. Yeah. So what all they do is just take that, change the, your trajectory, and just do it a different way and get put your it, ballot in. Put it in the mailbox. Mm -hmm. Yes. Put it in the mailbox in front of the post office. Exactly. Yeah. I was gonna say, don't put it in front of because don't, you don't put it in the because mail the, in front of, yeah, in front of the post office, it's always being filmed. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. Mm hmm. And that's also that's also the one that's the most widespread. Everyone puts mail in there for all different yep. reasons. It's not a yep. ballot box. Safest. Yep. Exactly. Safest. Yeah. The absolute safest place to to to. And I've always done that. I've taught everybody else to do that. I just don't yep. trust ballot boxes. I never have. Yep. And don't go to the polls if you're in a state that has polls. And walk in polls. Just try to avoid those, especially if you're in Texas or yes. a yahoo state yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yeah yeah we'll make it through yeah all right so anything any last things you want to say or no all right okay Good everyone stay safe yeah well thank you everyone so much for watching and i hope everyone has a wonderful halloween day um and i look forward to chatting with you ev with everyone soon thanks Bye. Bye.